Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to uh, caramelise some onions. Tracy. We've got our onions sliced. Check out our uh, kitchen tip video on slicing onions. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, that is a hot pan, We've which is important. Preheated pan. Preheated pan. You've got some olive oil and butter in there. I have, and I like using butter because it does catch just a little bit because the pan's nice and hot. And we can get some fabulous colour on these onions right at the beginning, which is what we want. So I'm just so the caramelised we're looking at like that, and then I'm just going to leave them for a little while. So caramelised onion, we're looking at getting colour on the onions. So when we st exactly caramelised onions are caramelised with the natural sweetness that the onion has in there. It doesn't need to have honey or sugar added to it. We want to keep it as basic and as simple as possible for you. You can get the most awesome caramelised onions just by doing this method. Can take 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the amount of caramelisation you want. But your first step is to get the pan hot, preheat the mm -hmm. pan. Uh, very, very important because as you put in a couple of onions, it's going to lower the temperature. Preheat the pan, olive oil, butter. Leave the onions like this. I haven't stirred them for a couple of minutes or yes. a minute. Yep. I don't know how long I've been talking for. I don't know about Not that. Not long in my world. So we're going to put some salt and salt pepper Salt and on pepper. It. I'll do the salt. You do the pepper. All right. So a good pinch of salt. We've got a decent amount of onions there. Uh, that's about um, two onions in there. Two sort of whoa, whoa, two, whoa. Oh, it's about I'm a pepper grains. lover. <laughs> and this is awesome because obviously, if you're a pepper lover like Bri, put that amount in. If I love pepper as well, but I don't think you need that amount in there. But uh, these would be lovely sort of pepper caramelized onions, but they'll be still be delish. They'll still be delish. Um, but yeah, I that's fine. So. Um, Let's give them a little bit of a toss. I can see some of them just around the edge have probably coloured up a little bit. Um, and you can see loads of steam coming out of the pan. So all using all our senses, you mm -hmm. can hear the onions sizzling. Sizzle. You can see loads of steam coming up. You can actually see the oil sizzling there. And you can smell. Mm. You can smell that these onions are getting coloured. Oh, nice. So look at that. So that's beautiful. And going to make sure that then the onion, <coughs> sometimes the pan it may be a little bit hotter on one side than the other, especially if you're working with gas, there may be a little, you know, sort of hot bits or cool bits. You're going to have to excuse me, yeah, sorry. Yeah, sure. So, um, um, <laughs> so we're going to move these onions around so that all these um, caramelized bits or all the brown bits, you can already see that those onions are going to change the color of the whole dish um, as they are cooking. So we're going to leave them for another minute or so, but that's literally it. And then we're going to turn them down and allow them to really sort of stew over the next 15 minutes to just really break down some <laughs> my onion, really break down and just relax and become all soft and unctuous and absolutely delicious. So caramelized onions are fantastic to um, serve with, um, to serve with burgers. They are fabulous. My, one of my favourite things is to serve them with pate. So you can co go out and get some nice um, chicken liver pate and serve caramelised onions because that's very savoury. Anything that's really, really savoury. And then you've got this beautiful um, sweetness that uh, goes with the savouriness. So you don't need to add any sugar to this because the natural sugars will just caramelise and come out of the onions during that long cooking process. So I've got it on sort of like medium high at the moment. Bride's back. Hello. Medium high at the moment. And I'm going to turn that down to sort of medium low. All but right. So we've got colour on that. The other thing sizzle. I was going to suggest yeah, yeah. was um, <coughs> hot dogs. Yes, absolutely. I mean, you could stop them there, but they're still not quite done, are they? No. You can see that that's bit. not, and that's going to be tasting a little bit on the raw side. So we're going mm. to leave those. And you can see how shiny they are. So there was enough oil in there. And um, there's enough oil and butter in there. Butter will add to the flavour as well. Definitely. So hot dogs, burgers. I like it on pasta. <coughs> Rissoles, sorry. I've got to Rissoles the right. as well. She's got a tickly throat. Tension seeking again. So we'll turn <coughs> it down. We'll come back in about 15 minutes to have a look <coughs> and see what they're like. So here we are 10, 15 minutes later. You can see that the onions have... Uh, reduced in size so a lot of the mm, moisture has evaporated so as once the moisture is evaporated they'll brown even more 
Does that make sense? It does. Anything with water doesn't brown. Anything so d- wet. So a decent amount of onions to start off with. Yeah, well, those look were like two, a lot, but two as you said, they medium large onions. That's There's right. Still and some larger down. pieces that haven't quite got there yet, but we'll cover those up, and in the next two or three minutes, even more re- will be uh, reason to have a consistent fine. cut on your uh, yes. So watch, is the, watch key. the uh, video. Yeah, on the onion slice. Fantastic, and enjoy those onions just in a sandwich. Well, that's <laughs> nice onion so was it like for cheese on toast with caramelized onions on the top? Really? Oh, yum! Oh, oh okay. yeah, cheese and onion sandwich. Cheese, okay. caramelized onions. I okay. put some rocket on the top. Delicious. Sure.